Okay, so I recently had somebody ask me if there's any quicker way to check for file upload extensions that may actually work. And so that is the premise of this video. Checking for file uploads is often a place where new bug bounty hunters like to begin. You'll see a file upload and then you just want to try all the different extensions and maybe you find an extension list on GitHub and you just sit there and manually go through and check all of the extensions and hope that you can find one. Well, I'm going to show you a way that you can check all of the file extensions in less than just a few seconds with the tool Fuff. It is going Going to really set you apart you'll be able to check file extensions really quickly but just because a file extension doesn't work doesn't mean that there's other ways to go around it and we're not going to cover that in this video the purpose of this video is just to see if any file extensions are accepted within a specific web application so let's go ahead and jump into it okay so here we are on the box bounty from hack the box it doesn't matter really which box you decide to practice this on. You can even do this on Try Hack Me with their file upload vulnerabilities. I just needed a box that had a file upload. On this specific box, you have a file upload at this extension right here, and we have this upload button, and if it fails, we get told invalid file, please try again. So what we can do is browse and upload a file. I have one right here just titled JPG, and if we open this and we upload it, we're told that it works successfully. So let's try this again, and this time we're gonna grab it in burp. So we upload, and right here we can send this to repeater, and that doesn't really matter, we can let that go. And then over here in repeater, if we change this to JPG right here to something like PHP, and we send this, it will tell us down here at the bottom it's an invalid file type. So other than like trying something with magic bytes with the JPEG or a PNG, we can look for other file extensions right here that'll make this a lot easier for us if it will accept any other file extensions that we can get to execute code. And I don't think this box actually does, but I wanna show you how to do this anyway. So what we can do with this right here is I'm gonna make this a little bigger. And now what we can do with this is right click like this that accidentally sent that over to raw not really sure why and we're going to say copy to file and we're going to save this as fuzz.txt because that's what we're going to do then we can come over to our terminal i'm already in my desktop and we can gedit fuzz.txt and right here you see this file.php we can change this to fuzz just like this and i think we can leave the content type actually we'll just fuzz it as well so the way it matches actually we'll we'll leave it and see what happens. So we'll leave that as a JPEG and we'll save this. And now we're gonna run fuff and we'll run the dash H so you can see what we're doing. We're gonna run this request right here. So it's going to run the HTTP request and then we're gonna to have to run this request proto so that way we can tell it it's gonna be using HTTP so we can tell it the protocol. So other than that, it's gonna be pretty normal. We're gonna go fuff dash request and then we want to put in our request file, which is gonna be fuzz.txt. And then we're going to put request-proto, and then it's HTTP. And then we need our dash W for the word list. And I'm gonna run it out of seclist, which is in opt seclist. And then I think it's fuzzing. And then we need extensions, and we can run it with the most common fuzz.txt and this should work for us, and it did. Now you can see these file sizes. We know that PHP doesn't work, so what we can do is take this file size right here and copy it. Actually, we'll take the opposite file size because we're gonna find out here in a second that the PNG will actually work. So I wanna show you how you can match these. So if we take this PNG and we send this, we can see that it uploaded successfully. So if we take this file size and we copy this, we can tell it we want to match the size and then we can give it the size. And now if we run this again, it's gonna give us all of the types of file extensions that are accepted within this file upload. And that concludes this video for us. If you're interested in additional file upload information and how to bypass file upload filters, you can check out this course right here. This is my course from beginner to advanced and there is a complete section on file upload. And so I would encourage you to check that out for further information. Thanks for watching.